Well, hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Ken D. Foster. I'm so glad you joined me today. Today, we're gonna call our show, The Courage to Awaken Your Intuition. What's intuition? Well, some people call it a hunch. Some people have a, a gut feeling about something. Um, there's women's intuition. There's a lot of names for this force, this power, this connection that we have to the unseen world. And today we're going to give you some tips and ways to tap into your intuition, develop your intuition. You know, most people's intuition is not developed. You might know that, right? If your intuition was 100% developed, every choice you make would be the right choice for you. Imagine that. Imagine if every choice was the right choice. Well, we can develop our intuition and we're going to teach you how to use symbols to develop your intuition. I'm going to give you some uh, tips that, uh, that I've learned along the way to develop your intuition. We're going to have some fun today. We're going to tell some stories. It's going to be entertaining. So it's going to be a show that I think you're going to want to listen to not only once, but over and over again. And of course, share with family and friends and those that you want to awaken. You know, this show is all about awakening consciousness, isn't it? It's about up-leveling your awareness. It's about helping you see the unseeable, know the unknowable, and do the impossible. Well, how do we do that with a logical mind? You know, you can't outthink your mind, okay? You just can't. And, you know, even Einstein said you can't solve a problem with the mind that created it. But when you tune into this intuitive force, this power that we all have, and you develop it, that's the key. You develop it, then guess what? Life gets easier, life gets better, you don't have as much struggle and drama in your life, and you start to choose ways to really have the life of your dreams. So that's what we're talking about today. I'm going to take a quick break, and when we come back from the break, I'm going to introduce my very special guest. Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement, Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers, from leading financial firm J.D. Melberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little-known truths about annuities in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now. Because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity, and it's free. Call 800-615-2282. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Silac Insurance Company. Call 800-615-2282. That's 800-615-2282. Call now. Hi, everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. They'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. Well, welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Kendi Foster. I have a very special guest, Linda McKenzie. Linda, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. It's great to have you on the show. For those of you that don't know Linda, she's a multi-book author. She's a radio host. She's a hypnotherapist, world-renowned psychic, and a bioenergetic healer who founded HealthyLife.net Radio Network in 2002. She's appeared on hundreds of radio shows, 
and uh, on TV channels and things like Japanese TV and the BBC, as well as being a major featured player and may in several award-winning documentaries. Linda, I'm so excited to have you on the show today. <laughs> well, I'm so glad to be here because what you teach and who you are is the essence of life. And if we could all do that, all do all the things that you say and all the things that you teach, we would all be so much happier and we would be able to move this world into a better place just by being who they are and who you are and who I am. And I think it'd be great, you know, just to do that. Well, I, I love that. And, you know, it's um, I, I can tell you and I bet you could tell me the same thing. You know, the consciousness that I have today was not the consciousness I had growing up. It wasn't the consciousness I had in the 20s and 30s. It shifted as a result of doing some work, a lot of work, but also what we're talking about today, developing my intuition. So let's just take a little dive into intuition. Uh, uh, you know, I define a little bit about intuition. Let's talk about your definition of intuition and how that ties into your life and how, how you use it. Well, everybody has intuition and, uh, you know, men have hunches, women have, uh, you know, uh, women's intuition, which is very famous and real. And, um, so what happens is, is that intuition is the start of psychic ability and psychic ability um, in my, I've been psychic since I'm eight years old. Um, I saw God when I was eight. So I'm not from the planet Altair or the universe. I'm very God based. And then what happened was, is that I ended up um, uh, seeing God and the very next day um, I had all these different abilities and I started researching and doing things uh, for almost 37 years before I came out as a psychic. And so it was very interesting that um, all of these things happen, but you seem to be, le you, you, you are led point by point by point uh, to your next step. And the thing is, is to develop trust and uh, what a psychic is, and even what intuition is, is it is an interpretation of energy. And energy, I find that as a psychic, I go through 11 energy zones before I can figure out what's right and what's wrong and before I do a reading. And so the intuition is developing an awareness of things around you and yourself and, and then moving that and going into psychic ability. And everybody has these things. I'm not special. And um, so... That, and by developing that, we live a better life and a greater life. Well, now you got my attention. 11 energy zones <laughs> That's before right. we tap into the, uh, the, uh, the depth of, your, uh, of the psychic abilities. Um, can you just kind of lead us through a couple of those zones? What, what, how sure. you define that? Or so, yeah. for example, if I was going to do a reading for you, I'd have to jump into your. I, I, there's a lot. There's 17 different distinct psychic abilities. And what I use is clairsentience when I go in and do a reading for someone. And, um, and so I will jump into your body. I will feel the energy. But first thing I have to do is find out what's going on in your body, because that's energy. What's going on in your mind? What's going on in your spirit? Then I have to jump out of you and I go into, then there's the collective of everyone around. So there's the, you know, what is everybody feeling out there and mind, body, and spirit. Then I have to go into earth energies and there's etheric energies, unseen energies, and also physical energies. And the physical energies would be an earthquake uh, that's coming or a, an, an esoteric energy would be a ghost that's around you. Uh, so everything is just energy on that. And the reason we want to do that is because if you're telling me you're sick, right? Or you have an upset stomach. Is it because of something you ate in your body? Is it because you're, you're, uh, an earthquake is making you queasy? So you can see that, is it uh, the collective consciousness doing everything? And then we go up to um, the universe, which is uh, universal energies. And that's also uh, seen and unseen energies. And physical energy of the earth would be the moon coming in. And you know, everybody knows that uh, full moons create crazy people in the streets, right? And so that's what um, 
happens with that and and but also unseen energy every thought that we have is a um is out there in the universe so there's no secrets right and so therefore uh what we have to do is understand i have to go and navigate all of this and then come back and then also go through and see who's attached to you go into them and figure out what's going on and then i come back in and do a reading and i do this in milliseconds I love that. Well, listen, who's calling us today? Somebody keeps calling us. So who is well, tuning in you know, to us? The thing, the <laughs> thing is, is that I run, I own HealthyLife.net radio. And unfortunately, the studio is open and running because we run 24-7. So we are, we, we, I've tried to cut that down and I've got people yeah. answering, but sometimes we have a lot of calls. So I'll just try and help with that if I can. Yeah, that, that's, that's okay. Yeah. So you got people calling in and, and um, you know, they're, they're tuning into what they need. I love that. All right. Well, listen, um, you wrote this amazing book. And one of the reasons I want to have you on the show is because I wanted to talk a little bit about the book and about the symbols and uh, how we can start to really expand our consciousness as a result of understanding symbols. So, before we do that, though, I've got to take a quick break. So we'll be uh, right back and then uh, we'll talk about symbols and tuning into our intuition more. Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement. Annuity Do's and Don'ts for Baby Boomers, from leading financial firm J.D. Melberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little-known truths about annuities in simple-to-understand terms. Grab a pen right now, because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little-known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity, and it's free. Call 800-615-2282. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Silac Insurance Company. Call 800-615-2282. That's 800-615-2282. Call now. Whether you're an active person that wants extra supplemental movement, maybe you want to keep your legs active while you work, or you wish to support your therapy at home, or you just want to build strength, increase your mobility, flexibility, and boost your circulation, Ellipse was made for you. Power-assisted exercise that frees your mind to enjoy your favorite seated activities. Just plug it in, place your feet, select your speed, and relax. Ellipse does all the work for you. Call now and order Ellipse. Hi everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. They'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $299 a pair. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology, many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $299. Plus, we'll add in a portable charging dock and ship your order absolutely free. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in the ear canal design. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45 day risk free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US based support 
for only $299. So call now. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call now. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. Not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount, and that's how easy it is. And I did this to my father. We were at home, four minutes, 34 seconds, completely gone. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing, it feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Call the number on your screen. Call 800-830-1358. Welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Ken D. Foster. I'm talking with Linda McKenzie, who is a multi-book author. She's a uh, very acclaimed psychic and a hypnotherapist and so much more. We're talking a little bit about intuition. And uh, I want to take a dive into your new book. I don't know how new it is, but it's out there. It's been out there for a while. Um, the, uh, uh, the book is all about symbols. Uh, I'm going to put it on the screen for a second so we can all see it. It's called Symbols of You. And um, what is this book about, Linda? I wanted people in these times where there's so much energy that is so negative. I wanted people to increase their intuition, learn to stay in mindfulness, because as you know, if we are in the past and we're worrying about the future or we're fretting about the past, it doesn't really help because the only thing that's real is living right now in this moment. And so I wanted people to be very mindful of what's going on. And I also wanted to give people information on how to um, navigate life's challenges. And so what I did was I comprised 45 different ancient wisdom topics from angels to Western elements. And I did visualizations and great discovery exercises where you can go through all these symbols and um, symbols sometimes can be messengers or they can be, um, you know, it can make you come back to mindfulness. And, it, and so by, and it also can give you increase your intuition on things that are happening and transform the negative into a positive much more quickly. And so you can go through the book and at the end of the book, there's seven pages of charts that you can fill in your own personal symbols and you can do this with your family your friends and also after the book is all done and you're done with the book you can always use it as a dictionary of symbols or even use it as a dream reference for your symbols in your dreams so if you wanted to know a fish that you dreamt about or a um, an insect or a uh, animal uh, you can go right into that and then it will have uh, you can figure out a little bit more about what your dream actually means to you you know i uh, that brings a, a thought to me um, i was um, living in sacramento at the time and um I was meditating and in this meditation, all of a sudden this eagle came out of the ethers and went, it felt like it went right into my whole body, right? And so I thought, you know, about two weeks later, I thought, well, I need to get back to San Diego. So I started driving down San Diego and I saw seven eagles on the way down to San Diego. And I've never seen eagles in, really on, uh, in the Central Valley driving to San Diego, but I saw seven of them. And when I got to San Diego, um, I started following, um, then all of a sudden it wasn't eagles, it was hawks that were showing up. And I started showing up on, on telephone poles and things, and I started following it. 
And it led me down to La Jolla, California. I'm, I'm just following that symbol of this, this bird. And I, I, I go into this bookstore. It's called The Psychic Eye in uh, La Jolla. Mm-hmm. I walk into the bookstore and all the books are spine out, right? So you, you can't see the, the, the face of the cover of the book. You can just see the spine. And I pick the first book out and I look at it. And what's on the cover? That same eagle. It was a book wow. called uh, Return of the Bird Tribes by Ken Carey. So then, of course, I read the message that was in there for me. Um, is that what we're talking about? We're talking about symbols or, or are we talking yes. something else? Nope, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so many things, different things. For example, for me, the bird was um, the hawk. OK, the hawk comes to me whenever I'm going to have a spiritual transformation or there's going to be something changing in my life. And so what I do is I was signing my first book deal uh, in uh, New York and over uh, 57th Street, there was a hawk in the middle of New York City and everybody was looking up and my girlfriend said, oh, there's your hawk. And I said, well, I guess there's going to be another major change. And the other day I saw 15 hawks all together uh, when I was out hiking and it was incredible and i was getting so much power and being told relax everything's happening the way it's supposed to happen and so i get a lot of messages just from viewing and seeing things around me um, another example of a bird would that would be um, helpful for intuition is uh, you know i work a lot because you know i'm running a 24 7 radio network and then i do readings and i do seminars and I'll, i also am doing a book and i have a new one coming out in january so it's like crazy um this every year i'm going to put out a couple of books i mean at I figured at 75, if I don't start putting them out, <laughs> I, better, I better I better, hurry up, you know? So, um, but anyway, so I get very involved in work and I forget to take the joy of the moment sometimes. And so what happens is in my patio, a hummingbird always comes by and sometimes they'll even come up into the house and look me in the eye and then fly out. And what that tells me is stop for a moment put joy in your life because hummingbirds are joy and happiness. So be joyful of what you're doing and how you're doing it. And uh, so that's what, uh, so some symbols would be like that. So when you're aware of symbols, you can, you can really um, uh, have a heads up on life. Now. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what symbols, because all symbols aren't bird symbols. There's a lot of different symbols out there that people can, uh, can look at. Can you give us some different right. examples of other symbols outside of an- the animal kingdom? Well, I have the symbols of astrology and I have, um, also symbols of animals and angels. I mean, there's, uh, there's angels of the month and angels of the week and angels, all sorts of stuff. And, and in the book, there's also some really ancient methods to help with life challenging problems. For example, I have a, I think it was like the fourth century uh, in China, they used to use dominoes for fortune telling. Now, fortune telling, I don't use any um, kind of props when I do readings because I'm direct connect with God type thing. So, or, or, you know, whatever you want to call it is fine with me. I'm just calling it God. And, um, and so what happens is that you can use these tools not to, to just, um, move your mind into looking at something in a different way. And so we have uh, card fortune telling from the 1800s and dice fortune telling, and we have runes and we have I Ching and I Ching is very interesting. That is, um, divination by, um, throwing of sticks or stones, um, you know, stones in um, China. And it's very interesting, though, that um, the I Ching is the basis of our um, ASCII code in computers. I was a computer engineer for 18 years. I worked with the airlines and did a lot of that kind of stuff, redesigned the U.S. Senate and all sorts of stuff before I ended up doing the psychic work and trying to help humanity by staying positive. So that's um, that's that. You know. Okay, well, listen, um, you know, in the book, um, you talk about the, um, uh, well, you talk about a lot of things, the charts, the symbols, the intuition. Of, where did all that information come from? Well, I went back to the 1800s and I researched. It took about two years to uh, get all this information. There's thousands of facts 
there's uh, 22 illustrations, there's uh, 83 charts in here. And, um, and I took the best two out of three. But in the beginning of the book, it says, if this symbol doesn't feel right to you, and you have another symbol, take yours. Because there's, you know, symbols are very unique. You know, there's common symbols, you know, like um, uh, from the things that you see, like McDonald's, you know, that's a symbol when you see the arches. And then there's, uh, you know, universal symbols, like um, the yin yang would be a universal symbol. And then you have the unique symbols, which is what this book is about, Symbols of You, which is all about you. And as you go through the book, you start learning more things and you remember things. And then you start seeing things in a new way. And so uh, I hopefully it's going to help people stay positive and, and, and live a better life. Well, I love that. And um, uh, to share a quick story here, I was in, in New Jersey, living in New Jersey in a place called Egg Harbor Township. And <clears throat> I thought, well, I'm going to um, I'm going to Google sacred sites in New Jersey. Well, there was one sacred site and it was uh, up in the mountains. And um, I uh, the name of it slipped in my mind. But you can Google sacred sites in New Jersey if you want to know where I went. And um, I went uh, up and down the freeway. I couldn't find the opening. I couldn't find it, couldn't find it. I went up and down for at least an hour trying to find this, uh, this uh, exit to for this freeway. I finally found it. And um, I got there uh, towards evening. It was up in the mountains. And I wanted to go see this, uh, this uh, symbol, right, where the uh, Native Americans would go up and they would uh, create ceremony around this area. And uh, it was very sacred for them. So I get up there and I'm a runner. So I start running in the mountains because it's getting dark. So I'm running, running, running because I want to get to the symbol before it gets dark. And as I'm running, 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 um, all of a sudden I look up and there's a, uh, an eagle up there. Um, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it looks yellow. It's like yellow, bright yellow, bright gold. The light is shining on it. So I stop and, and I, and, uh, Years earlier, <clears throat> and a uh, lady had given me an, uh, my native name, which was Yellow Eagle. So it really wow. caught my eye. And I looked at it and went, oh, my goodness, that's the Yellow Eagle. And then I looked down, and the sacred site was right in front of me. I would have run by it had I wow. not got that, yeah. right? So that's this is what we're talking about, how to use symbols to really enhance our life, enhance our experience. So when we come back... I really want to take a little deeper dive into the book on maybe how people can, uh, you know, that's an example, but other examples of how people can use symbols to really tune into their intuition and have a better life. All right, we'll be right back. Are you over the age of 50 and considering buying an annuity in the next 60 days? I have some important news for you. Don't buy an annuity until you understand the pros and cons of annuities. Call now for this free book on maximizing your income in retirement. Annuity do's and don'ts for baby boomers from leading financial firm J.D. Melberg. That's right, free. This book reveals little known truths about annuities in simple to understand terms. Grab a pen right now because we're about to offer you this free book that unlocks the five little known truths we believe baby boomers and seniors should know before buying an annuity. And it's free. Call 800-615-2282. As a bonus, we'll also throw in a free annuity rate report. We researched numerous products and summarized rates and benefits of annuities, all from Silac Insurance Company. Call 800-615-2282. That's 800-615-2282. Call now. Whether you're an active person that wants extra supplemental movement, maybe you want to keep your legs active while you work, or you wish to support your therapy at home, or you just want to build strength, increase your mobility, flexibility, and boost your circulation, Ellipse was made for you. Power-assisted exercise that frees your mind to enjoy your favorite seated activities. Just plug it in, place your feet, select your speed, and relax. Ellipse does all the work for you. Call now and order Ellipse. Do you listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations? Then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get MD Hearing's revolutionary Neo hearing aids for just $299 a pair. 
Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The Neo is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Neo hearing aids for just $299. Plus, we'll add in a portable charging dock and ship your order absolutely free. The Neo is nearly invisible with its tiny in-the-ear canal design. And you can get two Neo hearing aids with a 45-day risk-free trial, free shipping, and free lifetime US-based support for only $299. So call now. 800-789-7885. Again, that's 800-789-7885. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Power Swabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I was actually able to take the swab and really get through some of those areas that are kind of like untreated. I can immediately see the shades getting brighter and brighter or whiter and whiter. Order Power Swabs and receive up to 50% off the retail price. And as an added bonus, get a free quick stick pen with your order. Dial the number on your screen or visit powerswabs.com today. Hi, this is Kendi Foster. Well, I hope you're enjoying this show. We'll be right back with my guest, Linda McKenzie. Uh, before I get back to her, I just want to give out a shout out to some of our sponsors, UK Health Radio and uh, Johan, who uh, owns it and runs that, I want to give you a shout out. Also, uh, Triangle Health Magazine, BBS Radio, E360 TV, just to name a few. Uh, we're currently syndicated in about 185 countries right now on 27 TV uh, networks and also on hundreds of podcast stations in AM, FM across the country. So thank you, all of you, for helping us to get to where we are. And if you like this show, we encourage you to tell your family and friends about it. You can go to our website to see all the replays there or just Google Voices of Courage or just tell Alexa, Cortana, or Siri to play Voices of Courage. It'll come right up for you. All right, let me get back to my guest. Linda, let's uh, yes. let's take a deeper dive into this symbol, uh, the symbols that, uh, uh, how do they work with our intuition? I think that's the key, right? How do we use a symbol to work with our own intuition? Well, symbols have meanings. And so what happens is as you learn the symbols and what your symbols are, then you pay more attention to the things around you. And then just like you did, you were going to run past that uh, sacred site. You know, that's that uh, ha, uh, that uh, eagle uh, stopped you. And so when, you know, how I can, I know this is going to sound a little woo-woo, but, you know, I believe that God allow is there for us in every moment and so therefore he sends messages to us and if we're wise enough to understand what they are or at least stop to think of what they are then we are able to move through life better and easier and so that's what the there's so many symbols in here it'd be a very very hard to pinpoint a couple of other things i mean i work with symbols all the time i mean uh, even when I'm doing readings, if a universal symbol comes up or uh, I might be giving a reading and then uh, the Virgo sign would come in and I'll say, oh, are you a Virgo? So when you are understanding symbols and you work with symbols and here's the deal, uh, which is kind of fun, is that even if you decided you didn't want to work with symbols, if you go through the book, the symbols are going to be embedded in you because your mind understands, even on a spiritual level, what these symbols are. And even if you don't remember what they are, you have the book, right? And you can look them up and then you can see and learn. It's not, an, you know, being psychic is... Um, a responsibility and using your intuition is a responsibility. Um, but what happens is, is that we get so much in our minds that we forget that 
Um, our gut feel, which is our intuition, is probably 99% right with it when we stop thinking about things. So what we want to do is we want to, you know, if you get a gut feel on something, then you need to follow that and stop thinking so much because usually, and I'm telling you, 99% of the time, if you go with your gut feel, you're going to be right because that is your intuition. And uh, But the symbols just enhance that. Well, I think it's so important, especially in times that we're going through right now. You know, we've got, uh, you know, the light is getting lighter and the dark is getting darker, uh, one might say. And, you know, we're either part of the solution or part of the problem. And right. being part of the solution is be, being conscious, being mindful, uh, doing the work that one needs to do to remember who they are on a consistent basis every day and start to tune into your own consciousness of positivity, of joy, of happiness, of, of love, and be able to shift that in your own being, that, therefore becoming part of the solution, right? So i am been a life coach for 28 years now, and uh, also a business strategist. I work with uh, people in business, it's, you know, that, but everybody in business, <laughs> but everybody that comes to me is their life is out of balance if their business is yeah, out yeah. of balance. They're all connected, right? So, um, but when they come to me, um, you know, they're about results. People are about results. They want different results right. in their life. They don't want to feel pain anymore. They don't want to struggle. They want to have more health, more wealth, more, more joy, you know, those things. I'm wondering how the shift can take place, Linda so that more people become aware, use products like your book to be able to up-level themselves and look at their results so that they go, you know what, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not a victim, I'm a victor, I wanna step up my results. How can they use the book to do that? Well, the book will lead you to where you need to go, okay? Because it's, I wrote it in metaphysically, I've read it, I wrote it um, like eight layers, okay? so. Even if you think that you're not getting anything out of it, you are. Um, but what we have to understand is that using positive emotions, any kind of positive emotion um, it, to overcome negative is where you need to be most times in your life. And you have to reframe your thoughts for that. And the other thing that we have to do is we have to learn to transform fear. Because when we do this, you know, you can... For example, we're having so many dark places right now with wars and all sorts of things, but we have to understand that we're not, um, we can help things. We can, we can be helpful just by being in love, you know, having love and, and taking care of our families and being happy and positive because this all goes up to collective consciousness. And so what we have to do is understand what stops a negative thought and how to transform uh, send fear. And this book has all these symbols and ways for you to do that very subtly, very, very subtly. So for example, if you're fearful about something, you can kind of say, okay, you could either look at the book and say, uh, if a symbol comes up, you can say, well, okay, what does that symbol mean? And, oh, I'm fearful of this. If you don't, if you, you know, then you can take steps to go through that. Um, but the book also has all these wonderful little things like, um, you know, like uh, the, uh, the I Ching and the guard and numerology and, and astrology and things like that. And so when you start opening up your mind to new things, uh, it changes and shifts your world. For example, a lot of people will come to me and they're stuck and they'll say, and I'll say, uh, OK, well, go out and do something different. Do something you would never, ever do. And they'd say, well, what do you mean? I said, well, go take acting lessons. Well, I never thought about that. Well, go take acting lessons. And they say, why? And I said, because when you start to open up your mind to something new, other things come in and you have shifts and changes. If you stay in the same place, you're going to be in the same place. So what we want to do is we want to get them to shift and move. And this book helps them shift and move. Once you know things, truth is very funny. You know, you might want to deny it, but it will nag you and nag you and nag you until you accept it. It will not leave you alone. Once you accept it as uh, truth, then you can move on.
So until you trying to run away from truth doesn't help anything. You want to go through the truth. You want to go through the fear to reach the truth and understand the truth. And so that you can be whole and more powerful and then can con contribute to this collective consciousness, which can reshape, you know, just a, a million people, a million conscious people thinking the same thought can influence life. You know, so we can help to stop the war. You know, 100,000 monks, Tibetan monks are praying right now to stop the wars. And we're, I'm showing that things when, when we're all together in this, we may not be able to stop the whole thing, but we are making a difference. We're making it less negative. Anyway, yeah. that's what yeah. I'm thinking. That's, that's really powerful. Well, you know, two things come to my mind as you were sharing. Um, one is I'm glad you have uh, many different symbols in there, many different ways to approach this because uh, so many people's mind, mine included, uh, will get bored with one thing and want to go to the next thing and see how that works and go to the next thing and see how that works. So it's it's good that you've addressed that with there. And with regard to the uh, uh, the piece you said, 100,000 monks are praying right now. Well, I'm sure there's millions of us praying right now. Um, yes. They did do a study recently about prayer. I thought it was uh, rather interesting. Um, they, were, they divided them up in uh, two groups, people that were praying. One group was uh, praying for specific outcomes, you know, the war to end, uh, uh, have more money in their life, have more joy, whatever. And the other group was playing for thy will be done you know, thy will be done. And uh, what they found is both were effective, um, but uh, the ones that were just uh, saying thy will be done around this issue, whatever the issue is, um, the, the prayer was even more effective. And I thought about that, and I thought, why is that? Well, we wouldn't understand that unless we understand what the will of the divine is. And unless we understand that the will is always working for our benefit for our joy, for our happiness. And I think we also have to understand um, the, uh, the essence of what the will is, right? The essence is love. The essence is joy. The essence is uh, happiness and bliss and on and on. So um, it, it didn't surprise me. Um, but I'd love to get your comments on that. What do you think about that? Well, I do think, I, I do totally agree with you on that. I do feel that um, when we come from, love everything is energy for example every year what we do is jonathan goldman is on our radio network healthylife.net and he does world sound healing day and what he does on valentine's day is he gathers people from all over the world and we he chants ohm to the earth and he has a, a, a college i can't remember he's it's in new jersey uh that has a um, a meter that measures the resonance of the earth and what they have found for the last 21 years that we've been doing it on our network is that the when all these people are chanting ohm the vibration of the earth is lifted and it's actually been shown in colleges so since everything is energy and we have the choice to be positive in every moment you know every moment we have that choice if we're mindful and living in the moment, we have the choice to be happy or negative. We have to remember that there are no mistakes. For example, you know, uh, if you think that you're making a mistake, it's not. It's just a way for you to learn a little bit faster on what not to do the next time so that you can get up into uh, a higher level. And once you've learned the lessons from that, you will never have to do those lessons again. So the option here is to live life fully, but to try and stay as positive as possible, possible, and to um, you know, and and to also use all these wonderful uh, things. There's there's eleven uh, or tw I think eleven universal laws, and then there's twenty two sub laws. And so when we are coming from all these laws of the energetic laws that combine how energy works and whatever. It, and most of them are, is, is saying, you know, stay positive, you know, try and over, you know, don't, when you fear something, walk through it faster. Don't, don't put it aside. And, um, and basically that's uh, some of my thoughts on that. 
Well, I love that. And, and you know, there was a story of uh, a Catholic saint, St. Teresa, and um, she worked with the poor in, um, in India, uh, the, the extreme poor, right? And, um, you know, and she helped so many millions of people, actually, with her, her words of encouragement and positivity. And, you know, one, uh, she was uh, uh, going through a crowd one day and, and one woman asked her, how, you know, how should, how should I live? How should I live my life? And she had maybe five seconds to answer her because there were so many people. And she looked at the lady and she said, do what's hard, do what's hard, right? Now, when you hear that, do what's hard, a lot of people go, no, no, I, I'm living in ease and grace. I'm just, uh, I'm not into, li do. but what she was talking about was what uh, we're talking about here too. If you have a fear and it feels hard to move through, if you have something chronic in your life, you've not been able to do it, go find out why, you, what, what, what it's representing in your life, find out what the cause is, find out what the cure is and move past it. Not, nobody's here destined to feel pain, suffering, misery, and what what not. Okay, be in poverty. That's 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 not why we're here. And as Linda is saying, we're here to grow, to evolve, to change, to be the best version of ourselves, and to specifically be a part of the solution. We can't do that if we're negative. We just can't. Right. In fact, it's almost uh, sin's not the right word, but. It's a transgression against spirit to be in a negative state, is what I would say. So it's important to stay in that positive state. And listen, none of us do it perfect. I don't know anybody that does it perfect. But, it, you know, if you got a bad day going, what do you do? You start over. You start over with a good attitude. Something's really emotionally upsetting you. What do you do? Stop. Slow down quiet, still the mind. Linda, tell you the same things and tune into your intuition. Right, Linda? <laughs> I will. <laughs> we, we have the same uh, sense of uh, righteousness and how to help people uh, stay positive. We have the same outlook on that. We really do. Well, listen, I got to take a quick break. We're going to come back and we've got some uh, final thoughts from Linda that are going to rock your world. We'll be right back. <laughs> Whether you're an active person that wants extra supplemental movement, maybe you want to keep your legs active while you work, or you wish to support your therapy at home, or you just want to build strength, increase your mobility, flexibility, and boost your circulation, Ellipse was made for you. Power-assisted exercise that frees your mind to enjoy your favorite seated activities. Just plug it in, place your feet, select your speed, and relax. Ellipse does all the work for you. Call now and order Ellipse. Hi everyone watching at home. We're here to remind you that if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have live agents available right now to answer your questions and tell you how much your case is potentially worth. Hi, I'm Gina Belich here with spokesman and TV personality Tom Mustin with us in the Help Center. So Tom, phones are really busy over there. Tell us what kind of calls you're seeing. Well, Gina, first off, thank you for having me here in the call center with you. We always enjoy talking to the viewers and getting folks the compensation that they deserve. You know, we're seeing calls about all kinds of accidents, but the most common by far has been car accidents. So if you or someone you know were injured in an accident that was not your fault, give us a call right now. You'll speak with a live person Person. They'll answer any questions you have and tell you if you have a case and how much your case is potentially worth. Thanks, Tom. All right, folks at home, you heard it. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now. If you're living with diabetes and using insulin, you know the pain of pricking your fingers over and over again. By wearing a small remote device called a continuous glucose monitor or CGM, you can reduce the pain of pricking your fingers right away. If you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, administer insulin three or more times a day or use an insulin pump. Call the Diabetic Health Hotline today and learn about the latest CGM technology. Not only can a CGM immediately reduce pain, 
It is accurate, easy to use, and helps you make better diabetes treatment decisions. And if you have Medicare or private insurance, you can get a new CGM at little or no out-of-pocket cost. We will also provide free shipping of your new CGM and will bill your insurance company for you. If you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, administer insulin three or more times a day or use an insulin pump. Call now and learn how to receive your new continuous glucose monitor at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Well, welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is your host, Kendi Foster. I'm with Linda McKenzie, and I'm just having so much fun with you. Well, we got a few minutes here, Linda. So um, let's talk about, first of all, where can people get the book? Um, well, you can get it at Target, Barnes & Noble, Walmart, uh, Amazon. Any bookstore has it. Um, and it's, again, Symbols of You by Linda McKenzie, and it's a self-discovery um, reference guide. Okay, good. And also, you know, if people want to have a reading with you or to find out about classes or find out about your show, uh, is there a website we can take them to? Uh, yeah, you can go to lindamckenzie.net, and that's M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E, lindamckenzie.net. And of course, if you want to listen to the radio, you can go to healthylife.net and you can listen there too. I do a show on Tuesday mornings uh, from eight to nine, and there's live call-ins. So if you want a reading for free, you know, from 8.30 to 9 on Tuesday morning, Pacific time, you can call in and, and uh, I'll be glad to do it for free. So it doesn't even have to cost you anything. You know, here's a, here's something I want to put out to my audience. I've been in this space for a long time and uh, everybody that I know that is really making a difference in this world um, has a someone that they turn to, an intuitive, a psychic, a, a mentor, a wisdom teacher. They t they have in their in their space, in their in their group, right? In their what I want to say, uh, group of people that are there to support them um, that they turn to. So it's uh, you know, for me, I've had I've had uh, I've got several in my group. I've got uh, intuitives, I've got uh, psychics, I've got mentors, I've got coaches. You know, life wasn't meant to do alone, do this alone. So I'm encouraging you if you you know you want to check out Linda and you want to find out you know what's what's going on you know in your world. I encourage you to go check her out. Linda, um, all right, there's a lot going on in this world right now, okay? Right. And from your point of view, all right, I know you got a positive point of view, but what is your message to the world right now? I think my message to the world is to always come from a point of love. And so what happens is if you're feeling that it's overwhelmed by things, you can always give it to God. Say, I always say, oh, God, I can't handle this right now. You take it. I don't want it. And and they do. And so the other thing is, is that you can also always want to come from where you, uh, you can shoot your love from your heart into a situation. Now, my grandson was... Uh, <laughs> He was having trouble with a bully, right? So uh, he said, my, my daughter brought him over and I said, you know, just take the love that you have in your heart. I said to him, what did I, grandma teach you? What is the strongest weapon of them all? And he goes, love. And I said, that's right, stronger than guns. So what you do is you take the, the energy from your heart, your love, and you throw it right into the heart of that person that's trying to get to you. And I said, but sometimes you're not going to be able to, to do that, you know, because it's, the, it's too overwhelming. You just feel too fearful of it. I said, so then just ask God to help and say, have God take the energy and put it down to the top of your head and go through your heart and out to that other person. And sure enough, every time, and everybody can use this, by the way, and it works almost 100% of the time if you believe in it. And so what I'm saying is throw love to the situation. You know, think of it in love and and actually think of the energy like going to Israel or going to the Ukraine or going to Russia, going if if uh, if uh, the guy from Russia is being nasty, then I sit there and I pray and I take my love and I shoot it right across the, uh, the thing, right it. into his heart. It. And that's what you do. And that's will win. That will win. 
Well, thank you. I love that message. That's awesome. And uh, thank you so much. Our time went like this, Linda. So I, I hope you come back sometime and join me again. This is really a great conversation. Thank you so much for being with me. I appreciate it. And for all of you, I want to thank you for being here. Uh, you know, I want you to really think about what's going on in this conversation that we're having. And if it's new for you, then, you know, take a deep dive. Go check out Linda. Go check out uh, what we've talked about here. And, you know, make it part of yourself. You know, courage is what it takes to transition from where you are to where you want to be. And if you're getting poor results, then do the research so that you can see the unseeable and know the unknowable and then be able to do the impossible. Till next week. Take care. Mm -hmm.